Hello everyone, Big Joe here, and please excuse my voice, I still have a bit of a cold. I'm making this update video because I want to cover a few essential things. I want to talk about the future of this channel and why it's been meh for the last five months or so. But first, I want to show you something. This is my media wall. It might look a bit sparse, but that's because I just expanded it from one shelf to two. I want to point something out about it. Here are my movies. I have classics like Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and Star Wars, as well as lesser known films like Z for Zachariah, Man Up, and Warm Bodies. Movies make up about 36% of my physical media collection. Then there are my TV shows, which range from kids animation like Avatar The Last Airbender, to procedural crime dramas like Law & Order SVU. All in all, these TV shows make up just more than 32% of my total collection. Then we got the video games, which are vastly underrepresented here compared to my game libraries on Steam, Epic, and PlayStation. However, even my physical games make up about 20% of this media wall. Then, besides stand-up comedy and miscellaneous, we get to the anime. There's a Hayao Miyazaki box set up top, a handful of movies, and a collection of TV shows that include Takagi-san, Toradora, and My Hero Academia. You've probably realised that this isn't a lot compared to everything else. All the anime I own combined makes up a mere 8% of this display. Now, there are plenty of logistical reasons that I don't have nearly as much anime as I do other media. Anime is more expensive, so I'm not as willing to take risks on anime purchases as I am to take chances on TV shows and movies. It's also the last thing I started collecting. My first anime DVD was the complete series of Toradora, which I believe I got in 2016 or so, compared to my first film, which I would have gotten in 2011. But there is also a much more personal answer. Anime only makes up part of what I am truly passionate about. You've probably noticed that my upload schedule has been completely off the rails ever since January. That's because I burnt myself out doing weekly uploads and nearly got to the point where I uploaded a Love is War analysis video that I had only been writing for a couple of days just to keep the weekly schedule. Gladly, I decided to bin the audio because the script was embarrassingly flimsy and I likely would have never forgiven myself for putting that crap on the internet. Ever since then, I've struggled to get my mojo back, partly due to sickness, surgery, and some fantastic work opportunities, but also because writing about anime can sometimes feel more like an obligation than an honest-to-god passion. That's not to say I want to stop making videos on anime. Good lord no, I'm still tweaking that Love is War script to this day, and I have a bunch of projects in the pipeline that are anime related. But I also have a couple that are focused on other things. I have a script written about a game called Infamous that I quite like, and I eventually want to talk about The Outer Worlds and how it unintentionally put Fallout 3 to shame. I would like to eventually do videos on Kingdom Hearts, Trails in the Sky, Pirates of the Caribbean, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Rick and Morty, and all sorts of stuff that isn't anime. Basically, I want to have the type of channel where I can talk about whatever has my interest at the moment and not exclusively cover a single medium. I want to stretch my creative and analytical muscles to discuss a wide range of topics. That infamous script I mentioned earlier is the most fun I've had writing a script in a long time, and I want to be that excited more often. Please understand that this isn't anybody's fault but my own. I'm the one who wrote myself into a corner, and I'm the one who told myself that the weaning off anime exclusivity had to be sparse and slow. But honestly, what I need to do is create the kind of content I enjoy creating, and I'm sure that there will be those that enjoy watching it, just like in the early days. So that's the ultimate point of this channel update. To say that while I'm still going to talk about anime a whole lot, I'm going to be mixing it up a bit, and hopefully that'll give me some momentum to get my upload rhythm back, even if I never quite get back to weekly uploads again. And that is it for this channel update. I'd like to thank all of you for being so patient with me and sticking around. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very soon with a new video.